Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here with your Midday Market Report for Friday the 23rd of August. Well the big news is Steve Ballmer, I'm out of here. Now what for Microsoft? We'll be taking a look at Microsoft stock as, as well as Netflix which is really on a tear and analyzing those stocks for you but uh, the big news has to be Microsoft at moribund stock it hasn't gone anywhere in 10 years and I think today's action based on what Mr. Baum is doing is well it is what it is so let's go right to that portfolio now let's take a look at Microsoft the stock itself you see we had a couple of green ones but look at the red one right here not a good sign for Microsoft and here we are here's the big big move and uh, of course, Steve Baum owns 4% of Microsoft stock, so he obviously made a lot of money today, but it's almost like a slap in the face for him because the reality is, you know, he's leaving and the stock goes up. What does that say about his tenure there? And if you look at the bigger picture, and I'll just go to a line chart, and we go back, let's say a maximum that we carry all the way back to 2005, you see the stock has gone nowhere, really hasn't gone anywhere in approximately you know eight years so I think that's the the big thumbs down for Steve Bomber they've missed mobile they missed all these things but let's take a look at the actual results just trading from year to date using our program so let's go there right now so here are the results of trading Microsoft since the beginning of the year as you can see the overall gain was only a dollar thirty seven I think that's pretty pathetic but the market Microsoft stock has been pretty pathetic anyway but you didn't lose money following our trade triangles. That's the key thing to remember. So let's go on to our next stock right now. Now let's take a look at Netflix. Obviously Netflix has got all green triangles which we like to see and that's done extremely well. It's new highs here going into the weekend which is obviously a great way to be for any stock and I think that's the key thing to look at. So let's just put a candlestick chart there. You can see a new high here definitely bullish this market chances are this market's gonna be higher on Monday and Tuesday we very long this stock from 84 95 that's 84 95 that's our signal that we first had and I go out and scope this out in a couple of years you probably see it and there it is right there back in December and that is catching the big move and of course we've had a couple of other moves in here the last one came in 235 that was 41 dollars ago doing very well with Netflix. Love this company. So let's go to our next market and go back to our portfolio. And let's look at the Dow. And we'll go back to just a six month chart so you'll see very clearly. So the Dow is beginning to level out. We thought it would be. There's a, six, a little over 61% retracement. It's going to close unless it's a strong rally. A little lower for the week, but nonetheless it looks as though it's beginning to flatten out, which is what we want to see. We have a minus 60, which is a trading range. And I think that's what we have to view as sort of steady to building a base to go higher. Much the same way with the S&P 500 beginning to make that turn. We close over, I would say, 1660 today. I think that will be a very good sign for this market. Moving along to the NASDAQ, which had a disaster yesterday, of course. That stock is actually... That's, uh, the composite is actually higher overall today and it's actually higher for the week so that's a good sign for this particular market moving along to crude oil crude oil has had a nice big up day we still think this key level right here around the 6108 level is the key a close over that level and we're off to the races this market is going to close I think pretty close to unchanged to higher for the week so we like this market longer term all we need now is to see this daily turn up and it's off to the races but watch the 108 level that's a very key level for this particular market the euro dollar is closing higher It'll close higher for the week meaning the dollar is not too not doing too well and the general trend is still positive for this overall short term a little bit of softness we're still plus 85 so the general trend is still very very good for this so, so that's it for this week we'll be back next week on Monday I hope you all have a great weekend watch Netflix it should be strong on Monday Microsoft vote on our blog and let us know what you think of Microsoft and would you buy it sell it or short it so We'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. You can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg, Business News Network, CNBC, and Fox Business News.